Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Alex. So last week in your art class, you learned about the types of lines. So for this week, we're gonna learn about shapes. Shape means outer or outline of the picture. So it has two dimensions, the width and the length. And there are two types of shapes. First is shape of nature. And those are flowers, insects, animals, fruits, and humans. Second, shapes of man-made things. Example, cars, bags, shoes, or those things that you can find at home or in school. So everything that surrounds you, it has shapes. Now, let's proceed with the three kinds of shape. Number one, geometric shapes. Again, geometric shapes. Number two, organic shapes. Organic shapes. Number three, freeform shapes. Freeform shapes. For geometric shapes, we have triangle, square, oval, diamond, circle, rectangle, star, and heart. These shapes are circles. Circle. Circle. These shapes are triangles. Triangle. Triangle. These shapes are squares. Square. Square. These shapes are rectangles. Rectangle. Rectangle. These shapes are diamonds. Diamond. Diamond. These shapes are hearts. Heart. Heart. These shapes are stars. Star. Star. Not. This is an oval. It has a flat face. It looks like this rugby ball. Review. Circle. Triangle. Square. Rectangle. Diamond. Heart. Star. Oval. So those are the geometric shapes that you can see around you. Now let's proceed with number two. Organic shapes. When we say organic shapes are the shapes of living things, their sizes and details are always different. 
but the general shapes are those of a tree, a human, an animal, or a flower, and many things that you can find in our nature. You can see shapes everywhere in the world. A pizza is a circle, and it gets cut into triangles. You may notice a pentagon is on your soccer ball. You can see squares and rectangles on tiles, windows, and the shape of buildings. Look around you. What shapes do you see? Can you see geometric shapes? Can you see organic shapes? What are the most unique shapes you can see? Whether you are creating a masterpiece or just looking at the world around you, shapes are part of almost everything you see. Organic or geometric, simple or complex, shapes are everywhere. Try to notice them the next time you see an amazing artwork. I hope you understand the differences between geometric shapes and organic shapes. You can see them both in nature or the things that surrounds you, but they are different kinds of shape. Now let's proceed with number three. Number three is free form shapes. For free form shapes, do not have a definite size or shape. Sometimes they are very wide, very long, or twisted with no direction. For example, the shape of a cloud, a wave, or a fire. So remember, when we say freeform shapes, do not have a definite size or shape. And usually, you can found also in our nature or in our surroundings. So those are the three kinds of shapes. Geometric shapes, organic shapes, Freeform shapes. I hope you understand the differences of the three kinds of shapes. Please don't forget to do also your activities. Activity 1, decorate the sock using lines, then color it with colored pencil. Activity 2, draw a picture using geometric shapes. And please write our lesson for today in your art notebook.